All right, what's going on everybody? Dave Mormon here, home service business coach. And I wanted to take this time and actually share for a few minutes, a few of my key pieces of learning and just some reflections uh, fresh off here, our HSBC summit. Uh, we had members fly in to be with us, to come hang out, to learn, to business plan the whole last three days. Uh, and we decided as a team this year to really go all out and really create a very memorable experience for our members. Not only are they in our coaching program, but they have decided to jump on an airplane uh, and book a hotel and come and be with us for the three days. So we spent time going through uh, to a professional hockey game, which was awesome. We shared meals, we shared drinks, uh, we brought in guest speakers, we did business planning, uh, and then we also brought in a, a keynote speaker who has over a hundred uh, service trucks on the road uh, and a very successful business. So it was an amazing time. And my first real key reflection when I look back at the last few days of key points of learning is a quote I wanna leave you with today. And that is community heals, isolation kills. And what I mean by that is when you look at the world right now, 3% of the population are entrepreneurs, have went into business for themselves, have said, hey, I'm gonna bet on my own stock and I'm going to work my butt off and I'm gonna create more freedom and more income for my family. And it's interesting when we go out and jump into our own business, people you know, clap and applause and congratulate you. But then we kind of find our way off course and we're like, man, we've got to make payroll, pay taxes, get jobs, employees quit. We're getting off the tools. Like the cards are stacked against you as an entrepreneur. And so when you can surround yourself and almost bubble wrap your success with community, that's where it really becomes beautiful. And I think there's a huge mental component to running a home service business, as we all know, as you know. However, when there is your tribe of people shoulder to shoulder, blocking and tackling and growing their business as well, it's like this like breath of fresh air. And I had multiple members come up to me and say, Dave, we've went to this conference and this conference and this one, and we love the HSBC Summit because it's not the biggest quantity, right? We don't have a thousand people here, but it is the highest quality which is great and that's something i really wanted to nail at this summit and i think we did a good job of balancing the one avatar who shows up here and really wants to learn you know and take 25 pages of notes really hear from speakers and you know apply to their business and that's phenomenal and we delivered on that but there's another avatar that's like look i have all this information already i just want to talk to others in the community i want to hang out with the coaches I wanna share a burger, I wanna have a beer, I wanna have a coffee, and I wanna just let my hair down and be who I am and really see you know, some other insights into my business. And a key kind of point that I loved watching was just stepping back when there was a room full of people. We had uh, 33 people at our team dinner last night and I just stepped back and saw everyone interacting, which was absolutely incredible. Uh, and it just made me like incredibly happy. Um, and that's my second point is that big dreams start with small and reasonable acts. Uh, we just had our summit where I'm sitting right now is in one of the most iconic hotels in the entire country. And three years ago when COVID locked down the country, my wife and I took it upon ourselves to start saying at fancy hotels that we usually wouldn't because the rates were like 70% off. And so we found out about this hotel and I told my wife at the time, I said, man, how cool would it be? And I was just getting HSBC going. I said, how cool would it be one day potentially hold some kind of conference that people would come in from all over the world? And this last week, that dream was delivered on, which was just an amazing thing to happen. That's the quote I wanna leave you with, is that big dreams start with small, unreasonable acts. And you need to step out of your comfort zone and, and challenge your assumptions and say, what would need to be true for this to happen? What would I need to believe for this to happen? And for me, I had to believe that this is possible, that I truly can grow a community with myself and our coaches and our team members at HSBC and people will come in and they'll get an incredible amount of value from it. So that was my second real key piece of learning. Big dreams start with small, unreasonable acts and so it's just been amazing to come out and watch and see all of our members interact and that's my third point here is just really seeing the commitment that it takes to 
get your business going, right? I talked to some of our members, they're early in their business, two, three years in, they're doing a couple hundred thousand dollars of revenue. When they get in a room that their thinking is at a higher level, that's when it becomes amazing. And that's what I shared with our members is as an entrepreneur, all you should be working on right now is upgrading the plane of thinking because as you think on a higher level, you will start to make decisions that are different and you will get different results, right? That's why businesses get stuck at 100K is because the business owner, they're, they're not thinking on a higher level. And so we had members that had a 200, $300,000 business was great. And they're hanging out with people that have a $600,000 business or a 900,000 business or a $1.5 million business, right? That's really where the beautiful part is. And that's something my business coach told me back in the day, he said, the person you want to coach is who Dave was three to five years ago. And three to five years ago, you know, I'm doing a few hundred thousand dollars. I want to grow this thing. And so that was a really key piece of learning to really see this mastermind effect because it's that quote, right? You're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And the last point I want to leave you with number four is in the power of people, okay? People are your product. And what I decided with this summit was I brought both my managers at Revive. I brought our lead technician at Revive and came to spend time learning, helping our members grow. And I actually found members wanted to talk to me and our coaches. Yeah, but they really wanted to talk to my operations manager. They wanted to talk to my service manager, to my lead technician and say, how do you go out and recruit these people? And both my managers taught a session. And for our members, it was very powerful to be here in person and see that is what a 10 out of 10 rock star looks like. That is what a really solid operations manager looks like. And you can kind of hear these things, yeah, but when you're in person with them, sharing a meal, seeing how they walk, how they talk, how they act, that's again back to association and a very powerful thing. And that was a compliment a member gave me. He said, throughout everything you've done in business, Dave, I think your secret ninja sauce is finding great people and being a magnet to attract them into your vision. And that's something that I've been reflecting and, and thinking on as well these last few days. And so I wanted to share my reflections for you. This coaching program that I built, HSBC, it is certainly not for everybody. I get that, right? We've priced it as such that it is a high ticket offer so that we actually repel those that are looking you know, for a $500 course because that's not what this is. We want to work with those that are committed and not even those that are just stuck. We want to work with those that have a business that's growing and you want to grow it faster because when I got Revive going, I didn't want to grow it at a snail's pace. I said, I got three to four really good years right now. How could I build something quickly that, you know, in three or four years, rather than it taking eight years, 10 years, 15 years, because I wanted to set up cash flowing machine. And now that I'm a father and I've got more freedom and more income, it really makes the rubber meet the road. And so I want to extend this invitation for you. If you're seeing what we're posting on social media about the HSBC Summit, you're hearing it on the podcast, you're seeing it on YouTube, you're hearing from our other members. This will never be an open event to non-members. I'm telling you right now, this is only for our members and only for our members that are truly committed to their success. And so if you're looking for that community and the business systems and the training and the accountability, we have literally put our business in a box now and we literally are looking to help home service business owners that want to move quicker and the summit is just a nice add-on to that coaching program and so if you want to go ahead and learn about that if you want to go faster if you want that freedom that income and you want to see how we've helped now over 200 entrepreneurs blow up their business and you're interested in this summit then we're going to link up down below a free 20 minute phone call you can get on with our team and you can learn about what this business is like and you can just see is it going to be a good fit because it is by invitation only for members that we are able to work with and so i just wanted to recap my thoughts and share some of my key learnings from the summit because there's absolutely amazing three days with our members and i'm already looking forward to our next one. And so I'm hoping you're feeling inspired right now. And I'm hoping that this might stir up something within you that, hey, maybe it is time for you to take that next step and really build a real business. And so thank you so much for watching, for listening. Uh, Dave Mormon, Home Service Business Coach. I am signing off here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Take care and have a great rest of your day.